This week on Town & Country Veterinary Clinic Tips, we've got pet tips. We've got Dr. Joel Saylor talking about blood work. Good morning, Doc. Yeah, good morning. I want to talk a little bit about the importance of blood work, okay? And what I want to talk about is preventative surveillance, okay? And it, because, you know, we bring our pets in every year and we get them their shots and it's like, and that's good. Don't get me wrong. The, you know, immunization is, is paramount to a good preventative plan. Okay. But in the process of doing that, we forget about blood work. And one of the things we started a few years ago was, was basically including blood work in our annual for the seven and olders. And the reason is, is that as your dog ages, the likelihood of him passing away from distemper or, or rabies or one of these is very low. But diabetes, kidney disease, liver disease, and, and now since we're running blood work pretty much on everybody seven and older, we're finding a lot of these liver markers and things that we wouldn't have found otherwise. And so it's really important. And of course, you know, we still get some people that come in, well, I, I just basically wanted shots. Okay, well, that's great, but if you're really concerned about, you know, basically preventative measures, yep. um, you know, the blood work really takes a, a much larger role, especially as they age. And then some of these dogs that are that are over, you know, ten, we're you know, we're recommending blood work twice a year because they're they're aging at a much rapid rate than we do. So it is one of those things. We get blood work regularly. Your pet should too, as part of a good preventative maintenance plan. Sounds good. We'll be back right after this.